Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network. Congresswoman Madeline Berdalia was the author of the war reparations legislation. She provided the update while announcing that war survivor Irene Paris Ploke Scambaluri will lay the wreath at the tomb of the unknown soldier during the annual Washington, D.C. Liberation Day celebration. The checks, we, we think, will be coming in probably August, September, October, when they'll be receiving their checks. So it's not, it's not a lot of money. But it certainly is something, That's some something. type of compensation to recognize what they went through. Rodalia says like other Guam delegates before her, she was met with resistance in Congress for war claims reparations, in particular for a section that includes children of war victims. I was told by Senator McCain that he would not accept the bill. He was a chairman of the armed services of the Senate side. He would not accept this bill with that section in it. I think what made my mind up, I couldn't reach everybody, but I certainly reached some of the leaders, and they said, go with what you have. If you wait another two or three years, we'll all be gone. Funding for the war claims payments will come from Guam's annual Section 30 funds. That's the tax money collected from federal employees here that is remitted every year to Gov Guam. Bordalia says congressional rules require that an existing funding source be identified for any appropriations. For Guam's News Network, I'm Nestor Lacanto. Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network.